So here it is, collisions level nine. Um, I am a high school teacher, so I'm going to approach this from a teacher's perspective and not quite give you the entire answer, but guide you to how you can find the answer on your own. So the first thing you gotta do is you have to think about, um, we wanna make these ions. In order to make negative ions, I need electrons. In order to make electrons, I need to first create positive ions. And positive ions are created when you remove electrons. So we need to come up here and we need to find which of these elements in this, in this selection will generate a positive ion. So oxygen is a nonmetal, and nonmetals tend to be negative. Sulfur and chlorine are the same, so they're negative. So our only choice is the one metal that's up here, which is aluminum. And just in case you didn't know, that's part of the reason why metals conduct electricity is because they, the electrons are, are removed from metals. So here we go. So if we look at this more carefully, uh, in order to make this into a positive ion, we need to remove three electrons, and that's going to use, use, use our energy, but it's okay, we'll be generating electrons. So we need to use some energy to remove our first electron, and as you can see, the, energies, uh, the amount of energy required to remove the electron is going to increase as you remove electrons. So here's the next one. It required quite a bit more. And then this final one is gonna require even more energy to be removed because you have the same positive charge on the, in the nucleus with fewer valence electrons on it. And there we go. Now, don't panic, it's okay. This is the correct ion for a positive three ion, which is aluminum ion. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Collisions will check it for us. Now the difficulty here is figuring out which of these, uh, actually, it's not that difficult. If we look up here, there's only one other ion, ion that can make us uh, make a negative one ion. And the reason why we're gonna make this negative one first is because it's not gonna require us to use any energy to make this negative ion. Actually, we're gonna gain energy back. So we make that negative one ion first, we gained our energy back, four units of energy. Okay, and now we have these choices here. We have sulfur and we have oxygen. And if you look at sulfur, sulfur has six valence electrons in the one, two, thir third energy level. Oxygen has six valence electrons in the second energy level. Now we only have four units of energy. And if we try to put the electrons in oxygen, it's gonna require more energy than if I would try to put the electrons in sulfur. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna actually run out of energy. So let's try to do oxygen. So we'll put the first one in, we gain some units of some units of energy, but we're gonna to try to put the second one in and we've run out of energy. And the reason why it, 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 re it requires energy to add your second or third electron into that valence level. So it actually gets easier the further away from the nucleus you move. So try it with sulfur and see what happens. 